And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. While the world is waiting for their savior to rapture them away, the Israelites are preparing to endure Jacob's trouble, the great tribulation period. The indigenous people who have accepted the ways of the heathens are looking to the return of Jesus to rapture them away from the pandemic and the many trials and tribulations the world is enduring at this time. The scripture said there will be wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, and many other hardships but the end is yet to come. And ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows for us in the awakening is Jacob's trouble. For everybody else, this is the end of the world and Jesus is coming. To us that are being saved, we are preparing for hardship and many other trials and tribulations we must endure until the end. The world is waiting to be raptured away from the hardship and trials that comes from the times of sorrows. Indigenous Black people, it is important to allow the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to you and tell you the things to come. Albeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. When the people of the Most High can hear the voice of their Elohim and understand his instructions, the peace of the Most High will be with his people. If you are rooted in the Most High, no one can disturb the peace the Most High gave to his people that trust him. Religion has taught the world fairy tales. We all know fairy tales are fictional stories that declare everyone lives happily ever after. The workers of iniquity and religion has turned the scriptures into fairy tales. Everyone is waiting for the Almighty Son of God Jesus to save them from the trials and tribulations that are prophesied against the world. The book of Matthew said there will be great tribulations. The scriptures did not say the Most High would save his people before the tribulations start. For then there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. The scripture said, if those days were not shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, the days during the times of sorrows will be shortened. The scriptures did not say before the tribulation, Jesus would come to rapture you away. Look at the indigenous black people's conditions all over the world. Trials and tribulations plague their life. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake. Those days shall be shortened. The scriptures went on to say soon after the tribulation, the sun would be darkened and the moon would not give light. The stars would fall. The powers of heaven shall be shaken. After the tribulation, Yahshua will return. Once the indigenous people see the return of Yahshua, they shall mourn. They will see Yahshua with power and glory. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. To the people who believe they will escape the tribulation by the rapture, religion lied to you. The workers of iniquity mislead you to get you to accept their idol. 
The more people, the workers of iniquity, bound to their evil altars, the greater is their reward in the kingdom of darkness. Pay attention to the people who are highly esteemed, rich and powerful in the beast system. These individuals have bound many to their wicked altars. The Most High has great judgment reserved for the workers of iniquity, as well as the pastors and religious leaders who deceive the people. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. The religious leaders mislead many indigenous people into idol worship. If the indigenous people would do their own research and rely on the Most High for guidance, they would not be deceived into idol worship. Many indigenous black people refuse to listen to the chosen teachers and prophets of the Most High. They rather listen to seducing spirits, whispering lies to them daily. When the indigenous people refuse to obtain knowledge, they perish. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. I have seen comments from indigenous people wondering if the Most High would have mercy on the people who were misled. Do not let emotions deceive you. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 is your answer. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. The Most High said knowledge would increase in the last days. If the indigenous people do not seek knowledge and choose to trust the very people that oppress them, that is a decision they have made. That is why the scripture said to seek your own salvation with fear and trembling. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The Most High has raised teachers and prophets for his people in every generation. The workers of iniquity label the anointed teachers of the Most High conspiracy theorists. They proclaim the messages that are being taught are hate speech. The world is not going to accept the truth because the truth exposed their lies. Many indigenous people believe the workers of iniquity in the beast system. They collaborate with the kingdom of darkness in mistreating, oppressing, and dismissing the prophets and teachers the Most High sent to help them. Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Killing and mistreating the very people the Most High used to help his people is a horrible behavior the indigenous people participate in. The scriptures expose this behavior in the indigenous people's communities from allowing the heathens to kill our Messiah to killing the prophets. Yeshua said, a prophet has no honor in his country. The indigenous people will believe the words of the people who do not look like them, turn around and deliver their own people to their enemies to be destroyed. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet hath no honor in his own country. If the indigenous black people trapped in religion and the beast culture were truly seeking the most high, they will find him. The awakening is happening because the Most High wants to save his people. The messages from the awakening is heard throughout the world. Many people are hearing the truth for the first time. The indigenous people must make the decision to believe the truth or choose the beast system's interpretation of the scriptures. Currently, the indigenous people are without excuse. The Most High is exposing everything that was hidden. But there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Everyone must make their own decision to believe the truth of the scriptures or continue to accept religion's fairy tale. The Most High do not intrude on your freedom to choose. Only the kingdom of darkness oppose on your rights to choose. 
Some people will be taken while others remain in the tribulation. The generation that begin to see these things will not perish until all these things are fulfilled. After the tribulation, Yeshua will return and the Most High will gather his people from all the places he scattered them. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. The Israelites will be placed back on their land. The beast system has already imitated this prophecy. The synagogue of Satan has taken people from certain parts of this world and created a nation in 1948 called Israel. The workers of iniquity gather people with Arab and European DNA to pass off as the chosen people of the scriptures. The heathens that are trampling down Jerusalem have no affiliation with the 12 tribes of Israel. The scripture said the promised land would be trampled by these heathens until the times of the heathens are fulfilled. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Everything must be fulfilled. There is a season for everything under the sun. While the world believed they will escape the tribulation by a rapture, the scripture said Jacob's trouble would be a time of hardship and distress for the Israelites. The Most High reassured his people in the book of Jeremiah chapter 30, he would save his people. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7 said, During the times of Jacob's trouble, there will be no other time like this. If you go into the book of Matthew chapter 24, it said during the tribulation period, there will be no time like those days. Both Jeremiah and Matthew confirms Jacob's trouble is the tribulation period. For then there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. The gathering that will take place after the tribulation is the gathering of the Israelites who were scattered all over the world. The beast system has taken this prophecy and convinced the people in religion that the gathering of the Israelites is the rapture of all who believe and accepted Jesus Christ as their savior. Jeremiah chapter 30 starts with the Most High asking his prophet Jeremiah to write his promises to his people, the Israelites, in a book for the latter days. The Most High said he would gather his people and place them back on their land after Jacob's trouble. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. After the Most High promised to gather his people, the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 went on to reveal the judgments that are on the nations and people who oppress and mistreat his people. During Jacob's trouble, the Most High promised to remove the shackles from his people. The strangers will no longer have their way with his people. The Israelites will finally serve him in the spirit and in truth. During those times, the Most High promised to punish their adversaries. Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. I have done these things unto thee. Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Israelites, can you understand the scriptures when the people who allow the spirit of the Most High to speak through them? It is the Holy Spirit that reveals truth and tell you the things to come. The truth do not come from the wisdom of this world. The kingdom of darkness use religion to keep the indigenous people captive. 
while misleading the heathens to believe they will be saved despite their many offenses against the indigenous people. Many heathens have yet to repent of their sins and the sins of their forefathers. The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. The seed of the fallen and the heathens' response to the indigenous people for their oppression is to get over it. Religion is hiding the judgment the Most High has reserved for the seed of the fallen and the heathens who align themselves with them. So many believe Jesus is coming to rapture them away and they will never face the consequences for their actions. All over social media, many Christians are professing their God is coming to save them. Very soon they will realize religion has been telling them lies. O oh Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Just like how the indigenous people are without excuse, the seed of the fallen as well as the heathens are without excuse. Religion is a system the kingdom of darkness used to trap many. There is no truth in religion. Satan is the father of lies. To serve the Most High, you must serve him in spirit as well as in truth. Any organization whose foundation is built on lies and the promotion of lawlessness is not of the Most High. Indigenous Black people, you will not find the Most High in religion or in any of the buildings many gather to worship and sacrifice to the God of this world. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Many heathens do not realize the tribulation period is a time of judgment on the nations who conspired against Yah's people. The heathens believe the indigenous people are reaping what they sow. Many do not have compassion for the indigenous people. Satan has deceived them to believe they are perfect and they will never face any punishment for the evil they have done all over the world. Their Messiah will rapture them away and they will live happily ever after with their God while the indigenous black people suffer in the tribulation. Satan had to conceal their fate. If they truly know that their end is not going to be happily ever after, the heathens are going to lose their minds. In the beast system, if they are triggered, they go crazy. When they believe their privilege is being hindered, their barbaric nature comes to battle. The seed of the fallen do not handle oppression well. The workers of iniquity claim mental illness to hide their father's ways. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. The scriptures reveal that judgment starts with the people of the Most High. The people of the Most High are being judged for their iniquities. If the Most High have no problem judging his people for their iniquities, the Most High will judge the other nations for their iniquities. The tribulation period is the time where all nations will reap what they sow. That is why there will be no other times like this. Satan must disguise the judgment that are coming upon the nations to enlarge his army. There are Israelites who wants to flee to other nations because they believe Babylon will be destroyed. All the nations that conspired against Yah's people will be destroyed. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. But they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, and the Ishmaelites of Moab, and the Hagarenes, Gebal, and Ammon, and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Assur also is joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot, Selah. Babylon is not the only place that oppressed and mistreated the chosen people. There are many bloodlines that came together to conspire against Shah's people, as you heard. The nations in Africa are not exempt. Remember, many of the indigenous bloodlines are dwelling in Africa and all over the world. 
the indigenous people must prepare and seek the most high daily to stay on the narrow road that leads to life. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. During the tribulation period, the scriptures reveal in Matthew chapter 24 that the abomination of desolation that Daniel spoke of will appear and he will stand in the holy place. The scriptures warn the people to brace themselves. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. The book of Daniel revealed that the men of sin, the abomination of desolation, will come from the land of the north. The Most High spent many weeks speaking to us about the land of the north. Satan said he would sit in the mount of the congregations in the sides of the north. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Satan's seat is in the north. The seat of the watchers come from the north. It would make sense that the abomination of desolation, the men of sin, will come from the sides of the north. The men of sin is the successor to the king of the north in the scriptures. The men of sin will come with peace and will obtain the kingdom by flatteries. And in his estate shall stand up a vile person to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom, but he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. Once the people establish a covenant with the man of sin, he will work in deceit. The scripture said he will become strong with a small following. And after the league made with him, he shall work deceitfully. For he shall come up and shall become strong with a small people. Once the man of sin is in power, he will cause devastation all over the world. He will invade many countries. He would war with the king of the south. He would deceive many through flatteries. The scripture said, be careful when people praise you. The men of sin will flatter many. He will join forces with the king of the south. They will deceive each other. The scripture said, the end is not yet. And both these kings' hearts shall be to do mischief. And they shall speak lies at one table. But it shall not prosper. For yet the end shall be at the time appointed. At the appointed time, the men of sin will cause the sacrifices to stop and he will exalt himself above the Most High, just as Satan said he would do. The men of sin will declare himself to be the Most High. And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god and shall speak marvelous things against the God of gods and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished, for that that is determined shall be done. The scriptures must be fulfilled the way the Most High prophesied the end would be. We cannot have the mark of the beast without the falling away and the abomination of desolation, the men of sin, appearing first. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. The man of sin is the one who will force the people to worship the image of the beast, and those who refuse will be killed. The man of sin will also cause many to receive the mark of the beast, and without the mark you cannot buy or sell. We cannot skip steps. I have yet to see the abomination of desolation take his seat in the holy place to declare himself to be the most high. The book of Thessalonians said the coming of our Messiah is after the work of Satan in the tribulation. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Once the men of sin fulfill the scriptures, the Most High will save his people. As you hear in the scriptures, the tribulation period would be a trying time for the Israelites. The time of Jacob's trouble. Daniel chapter 12 confirmed what Jeremiah said. The Most High will save his people, all who endured during the tribulation period. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, 
such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. The book of Revelation revealed that the people who died for the word of the Most High, the people during the tribulation period who did not receive the mark of the beast and worship the image of the beast, they are the people who will reign with Yahshua for a thousand years. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. During the thousand-year reign, Satan is cast into the bottomless pit. Satan will not be able to deceive the nations at that time. The rest of the people who died before the tribulation period, they will not awake until the thousand-year reign is over. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. The scripture said it is appointed for men to die once after to judgment. Those who die before the tribulation will awake to judgment. The righteous who perish during the tribulation period will not endure the second death because they have already died once. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Once the thousand year reign is over, Satan will be loose. Satan will go out to deceive the nations. What religion referred to as the Battle of Armageddon will take place. The battle Gog and Magog against the people of the Most High. During the battle, the Most High will destroy Satan and cast him into the lake of fire where the false prophet and the beast are. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night for ever and ever. After the battle of Armageddon, all the dead shall rise to judgment. Those whose name was not written in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Religion has taught the world that they will not be held accountable for their sins. According to church doctrines, the Messiah that came in his own name died for the sins of the world. Whosoever accept the Messiah, their sins will be forgiven and obtain everlasting life. According to religious doctrines, right before the great tribulation, the Messiah is supposed to rapture everyone who accepts Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If you read the scriptures and allow the Most High to decode his words, the scriptures do not support the doctrines from the church. Gathering the scattered Israelites from the four corners of this world is not rapturing everybody to a mysterious location to wait out the great tribulation. And I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers and in all the inhabited places of the country. The Most High will bring his people that he gathered from around the world to the promised land. The Israelites have been in exile and homeless since 70 AD. The heathens are living in the promised land, not the chosen people. Remember I said to you, Satan imitates everything the Most High does. The Most High promised to gather his people and place them back on their land. Satan said he will rapture the believers away to safety right before the great tribulation. 
Discernment is key in the critical times we're living in. Indigenous people, do not let anyone deceive you. Read the scriptures and ask the Most High for understanding. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Israelites, the Most High tell you about the end from the beginning to help you and to save his people. Do not let the beast system mislead you with false doctrines in religion. The Most High do not desire to see anyone perish. That is why he is waking up his people and revealing truth. Place your confidence in the Most High and allow the Elohim of our fathers to guide your every step. The Most High will never leave you nor forsake you. The gathering of the Israelites from around the world to place them back on the promised land is the Most High fulfilling the covenant promise he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In order to survive the tribulation, keep your eyes on the Most High and his promises to his people. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more.